let's check out the probability ARP, uh, which is a very cool arpeggiator slash chord generator and strummer. Here I have a wavetable patch. Let me just hold one note. It's kind of like a pulsing kind of uh, saw wave. Let's play a chord. Nice. So I'm going to go right here under packs, probability pack. Uh, this is free. If you have Ableton Suite, just download it and probability ARP. So this thing is amazing. First of all, it's a chord generator. So right here, chord is on and ARP is on. Just need to hold one note on my keyboard. And it's already arpeggiating. Let me turn on off the chord uh, generator. We'll focus on this in a second. Let's go on the arpeggiator section. So now if I hit one note, it's just repeating that one note and I can hold multiple notes to arpeggiate those. Uh, again, this is kind of like a regular arpeggiator, but it has probability uh, capabilities. So here's the speed. Can go super fast. Uh, the octave. Just kind of repitching. And the style, how it's playing the arpeggiator. We have a bunch of styles here. They're also visualized, which is nice. And you may have a chord. So similar to what you will find in Ableton's arpeggiator. And here we have the length of the notes. Um, and let me actually, right here with the gate, so let me turn off a few steps. And let me go to the instrument, I'll make the release a bit shorter. And now we can hear the length. So this is the gate, which taps are active. And we can also turn off the retrig, so it's just continuing from the same place as I retrigger the MIDI. Just hitting notes, it continues from the same place in the sequencer, the gate sequencer. Let's re-enable everything. Go back to the sound, I'll bring up up there. Okay, nice. Here we can add some swing. You can even hold it, so that means I don't have to hold the MIDI notes anymore. It just runs freely. Here we have the probability section. We can randomize the rate. So here's the, how much we randomize it, and here's the range. You can just click and drag. You can randomize the style, the length, and even the octave. It just goes crazy by itself. Very cool stuff. You can uh, create some cool sound installations and stuff here. Let's turn down the, the probability. I'm going to turn off the hold. Okay, nice. So that's the arpeggiator. Now, these two can work in conjunction, as you saw when we loaded the, the instrument. Just turn them both on, and then you only need to hit one note. You can change the shape of the chord. That's super dope. But you don't even have to use it with the arpeggiator. Once you turn off the arpeggiator, the strumming option is enabled. And then you can just strum it. I love that option. Just hitting one note at a time, creating these cool chords. You have a bunch of them here. I obviously love the minor 11. That's really great. And you, have, you can even invert them. Every time you click on it, it does trigger it as you hold the note. Super amazing stuff. Love this chord generator, especially the strumming option. Check out Probability ARP. Uh, just kind of basically just like the arpeggiator we have in Ableton. It just can randomize everything. But this chord generator, really awesome stuff. Check it out. It's free for sweet users.